today I am preparing to make a smoothie. I'm using this Kirkland Signature Brand Grade A Frozen Strawberries. There's no preservatives. Grade A Fancy Individually Quick Frozen. And then I have these organic blueberries. Also by Kirkland. I like to add in coconut flakes. I love the Bob's Red Mill brand. And this is the Goya brand of some chia seeds and also some milk flaxseed. And then I'm just gonna add some water. So, making a quick smoothie. They're nice and big and juicy. And they're frozen, so they're yummy. And they don't spoil as quick as buying the fresh ones. So I just added about four big strawberries into my cup. And then I'm going to take some of the blueberries. It looks like this. So I added the chia seeds and the meal flax seeds. I'm going to add a little bit of cinnamon to taste. Left handed, so bear with me. And then you go in with your coconut flakes. And I love coconut, so the coconut flakes give it that crunch, and it's um, it's pretty yummy. So if you like coconut, you can go a little ham on it. <laughs> you can overdo it if you want it. So coconut adds that nice crunch into it. So it looks like this. I'm gonna add some filtered water and blend it all up. Blend, 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 and then transfer into a cup of your choice and add it. Coconut flakes and chia seeds for decorative purposes and well as crunch while I have my smoothie. And that's about it. Moving on to lunch, I decided to have avocado toast and I love me some avocado. And this one was just barely making it. It's nice and smushy and it was ready to go. So I like to add some seasonings. I think I only put a few this time. Normally I add like a whole big jazz, but I was just craving black pepper and red wine vinegar. I didn't add salt because the vinegar has its own salt into it. Mix it all up, lightly toast the bread. And this is the oat bran bread by Arnold. And it's like country, it has a little bit of oats on the outside and I don't like to take the first piece of bread I don't know if that's anyone else does that so yeah you want to add the avocado onto the bread I added pistachios and some mini cucumbers those are my favorite cucumbers and there you have it it's really good with some parsley flakes for a snack I decided to have some watermelon you can never go wrong with watermelon it was nice and yummy for dinner, I decided to have some diced cauliflower and this one has kale and sweet potato in it along with some mixed veggies. They were frozen, some onion and earth balanced vegan butter along with this peanut coconut sauce and some seasonings, garlic, Mrs. Dash, black pepper, and my doodles of course aka sweet platano, sweet plantains, and some olive oil to fry. So first you want to just go in with your onion and garlic in the pan, saute that a bit, add your frozen veggies and the butter. I like to add the butter because I mix everything up and then I season to taste. This probably took about 8 minutes or so, depending on if you thaw out your veggies or not, it wouldn't take that long just to steam up and cook. Then I went in with the rice cauliflower, it looks like so. And they kind of cheated me. I feel like they only gave me like four sweet potatoes, which was like, what? It was like not enough. But anyway, I added in the sauce 
the peanut coconut sauce and then I threw back in the veggies and then that's pretty much it you mix everything all up together and it tastes really good it was like a substitute of fried rice with veggies without egg of course and then you fry up your sweet plantains and voila here is my plate you guys it was so good I Thank you all for stopping by today. If you enjoy the food content, please give me a thumbs up and I'll talk to you soon.